Jarek McKinnon, nicknamed the Jet, will take a knee. Tyrone off in motion. They will hand it to the former Florida State Seminole. That's Dalvin Cook. Back to back carries for Cook, who is nearly a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Back will be playing linebacker. First throw for Keenum. Great protection. Looking down the field for Thielen. What a throw, and he got it. What a throw. What a throw. Well, here's Adam Thielen right here. Just a little double move and surprised that Vernon Hargraves tried to interfere and do the right thing to prevent the big play maybe get away with a no call but Adam Thielen with the concentration and the trust that he's developed not only with Sam Bradford but already his third carry Gear. Keenum wide open and still on his feet and close to the goal line in the eye formation and they'll give it to Cook he's had a big opening series no signal given Here's short. They'll try it again. And it is a first career touchdown. Touchdown, what a thrill for that young man. Let's take a look at the surge of the offensive line up front. Nick Easton does a good job of getting the initial pushback, and Dalvin Cook does get across that line. They are reviewing it upstairs. Let's see if that ball is. This has been an adventure for Kai Forbath already this year. He's missed two of them. Well, this one is good. You can almost say that for both teams. We have to the Blair Walsh situation here in Minnesota. McKinnon's going to bring it out. Seven yards out of his own end zone. And not a good decision for Jarek McKinnon. Will they answer the call? Spun down is Cook. Second down and nine. Great protection. And that's Cook out of the backfield. Catch one early to get him involved. This time they find Diggs on a short crossing route. Illegal use of the hands. Hands in the face. Offense number 71. So they converted the first down. Now it's third down and 12. And across the middle, it's Diggs to the 30. So they get the first down after all. He asked you to point blank. Is it different practicing with the first unit and getting all the quote unquote reps this week? His 26th start. Looking for the long ball again, and he slightly overthrew the intended. They converted third and 12 a moment ago, now third and 10, and again looking down the field. What a catch! No, it came out of there. It looked like Diggs had it momentarily. These corners of Tampa Bay. Well, their best cover corner, in my opinion, Grimes is out. So you go after the replacement and test him early, and Ryan Smith does a great job of playing the football. His man. Anger among the very best in all the NFL. Fair catch, single four. There was a member of the kicking team that went out of bounds on his own. That is a five-yard penalty. Minnesota has elected to re-kick the ball, fourth down. So they're going to have the ball at the 10. They're going to do better now, a lot better now. The season still has five and a half sacks, and now Keenum to a wide open digs it looked like he dropped it so those intermediate routes are going to be open boy cook slam Tay david keenum put it down quick out reception made and hanging on this time spinning out of a tackle is cook drive but stalling and leading to a field goal keenum steps up throws and is that a catch? It is by Diggs. He's looking at the hand saying, I can catch it after dropping one a short while ago. Well, the whole key to Case Keenum, right? Don't step out and back in the pocket. Step up and into the pocket. Right there, he's, he's sitting it, and he stepped up into the pocket, allowed himself being a shorter quarterback to find the throwing lane and deliver a timing pass to Stephon Diggs. <laughs> Play fake, and they dump it off to Thielen. He catches 38 yards for Diggs. This is Cook. And now it is Cook taking the snap from center. Penalty on the play as the Vikings had 
a correct and accurate line of scrimmage. So third down and seven. Blitz coming. And wide open again is Thielen, and that is a first down at the 11 yard line. This is where Case Keenum's feeling more comfortable in this offense. Right here is the blitz. Now he was audible, so he checked out, but then he came back into it, so he knows he's one on one with Chris Conti. And I would think if you're the Vikings and Pat Shermer, the offensive coordinator, that's the matchup that you like. Adam Thielen one on one with Chris Conti in space. But the patience of Case Keenum right there, Tom? He's slow to get up, but he leaves for the sidelines. This is Dalvin Cook, shakes one tackle, but can't outrun the host of Tampa Bay. Never dropped the football. What a great route runner. Well, they know that here. There's Diggs. And inside the five. They fake it to him. And under heavy pressure, Keenum just throws it up in the back of the end zone, and it's incomplete. There are two fouls on the play, both by the defense. Outside, defense number 95 lined up in the neutral zone. That penalty is declined. Holding, defense number 43. That five-yard penalty results in an automatic first down. Oh, they spotted at the two-yard line. Keenum rolling right, and it is a touchdown. To Jarius Wright, remember him? That's right, Jarius Wright, a forgotten man in this Minnesota offense, but not now. Well, he's a trusted man, because all he does is make plays when he gets his opportunity. And right there with Case Keenum, you saw the immobility that maybe Stan Bradford doesn't have that Case can bring to the table on a natural sprint out, working Jarius Wright in a one-on-one. -on -one. And again, they're working on this secondary. He has five offensive snaps or fewer. Jared Allen, he has become one of the top sackers in all the football. Two-time pro bowler, just signed a contract extension. Fair catch of the 42 by Sheriff. As the Detroit Lions come to town, there's Diggs in motion. You said that's what they do, Chris Peelman. He may have heard footsteps right there. Second down and 10. Good protection. Thielen is sure-handed as they come, brother. That's an 11-yard game. Well, we talked about Tampa's max protection. Minnesota goes max protection, two-man route. And they know that they have an advantage that their skill right now is outplaying Tampa's skill, meaning that wide receivers are outplaying the back end. They just give them time to develop. And Thielen, you put it in an eight-foot eight radius, you're usually going to come down with the football. They hand it to... Latavius Murray but thrives on it. Cook. He ran into a tackle and then ran through the tackle. There is a penalty flag down. Holding. Offense. Number 62. 10-yard penalty. Take it one way, come back the other way. How about that by Levante David? After missing a couple of plays, third down and forever. Very short game. So Dalvin Cook in the backfield. They think it to him. They roll the other way. Keenum will run it. And tiptoes out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Dump it off to Dalvin Cook. And he steps out of bounds. 245. Looking to Diggs. And he's all the way to the 30-yard line. What a day so far for Stephon Diggs. Five catches now, 91 yards. What Case Keenum, what a game. Well, if the corner, the safety is up, TJ Ward's up, so the corner's responsibility, he has to be off and inside. Chris Conti is up, you have no safety help. He's six to start. Dalvin Cook, good running room, that'll be a gain of nine. He'll stay on the ground, but Cook, he takes a big hit but hangs onto the thing. You know they're inside the 20 and they have all those timeouts. Looking to the end zone for Diggs. He went up and got it. And a touchdown for Stephon Diggs. Good snap, good hold, and he's now three out of three today. As they can get after the quarterback. Oh, short straight, really short. But nobody's going to come up and get the ball. Well, Sheryls comes up and gets that thing. They've got the ball at about the 38-yard line. Good offensively last week in a loss to Pittsburgh. 0 for 5. 
Minnesota should get excellent field position. Fair catch, and they will. He's Keenum, the best half of his NFL career. Comfortable within this offense. Gets rid of it quickly, and we've already talked about Diggs. Tampa Bay. This free play, although I don't see a flag down. Yes, it is. And this is going to go for a touchdown for Diggs. He just realized the defender almost got him. Well, he was held on the route. He was grabbed by the shoulder. Diggs might hear a little something from his uh, head coach there, Mike Zimmer, about celebrating too early. Moss is the only Minnesota Viking ever to have more receptions. His first two years with this franchise, be able to get up as you saw and walk off the field. Keenum steps up and the catch is made. Tampa Bay defense, but he's had all day to throw on virtually every throw. This time he's flushed out of the pocket and he'll slide down. 100 yards. Holding defense number 92. That five yard penalty. Is it forced from the end of the run? Automatic. First down. Chow. Yeah, Cook is back in there. And of course, there were a lot of questions about Cook coming out of college. There were a series of incidents at Florida State, which certainly threw up red flags. Good run there by Cook and a, another penalty. Really Holding upset. Offense number 19. That's because it's on Can him. Get a penalty. Second down. <laughs> Uh oh, almost got there. And then feeling. We're going to keep throwing it. And a catch made by CJ Ham, and he barrels his way inside the 38. That's the problem for the Bucks. Back to the ground with Dalvin Cook. Boy, he just keeps breaking out of tackles. And oh, the way down to the 10 yard line. Carries 80 yards for a cook. And that catch is made by the tight end, Kyle Rudolph. Cook denied the end zone. Single parent households and how important that is to give them a, a well rounded upbringing that's incomplete on the throw to the end zone. Made 21 straight field goal attempts. Second longest streak in the NFL, and you can tack on another one 22. Oh. Problem is they can't make a stop on defense. I mean, they held him to a field goal the last try rather than a touchdown. But so now Keenum and company with the football, and it's incomplete on first down. First second play off the game clock, and now Cook bottled up at the line of scrimmage. Lured down into the hands of Jarius Wright, and he is short of a first down. Moment I have to go. Cook. This is, of course, their first road game. They were supposed to have opened the season in Miami. And look at Keenum. It was interesting looking at that Tampa Bay sideline a moment ago. As Cook is down to the 20. And that is Colston. Third down throw. That's a conservative throw to Cook. And then they're going to wrap him up, denying him a first down. And he comes back in the game to play and to finish this game. That's in amazing. passing yards and touchdowns. And he has played like that kind of quarterback here today. We're saying all about next week. The Detroit Lions won their first two games. That'll be a first down for Dalvin Cook and maybe more. Across midfield and down to the 45. For him. What a day it has been for Dalvin Cook. Running game last year. McKinnon again. And down to the 40. Third down coming up, Peter. Lions winning their first two games of the year. They overwhelmed the Giants last Monday night. And now Keenan will try to dive for a first down. He looked like he was short. Nice Louis Vuitton story. <laughs> Boy, you are dumb. There's Cook. Golly, day. Peter, how do you take that kind of heat? I don't deserve this. No, you yeah, don't. Ryan, you Ryan don't. Look in the, uh, the restaurant, got people buying him drinks. Let's check in with Carissa. Five NFL seasons. 
We mentioned he finished college, his career there as the NCAA's all-time leader in passing yards and touchdowns, and a career day for Case Keenum today. The only